Hey guys, welcome. Happy, happy Christmas. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, this lovely Christmas day uh, around the world, uh, all sharing the classics dream. And as you can see, I've donned a, a Father Christmas hat with a um, Ari the Stag badge of honour, which you can get uh, free of charge anywhere in the world. If you want one, just uh, get in touch via our website and we'll send you one in the post. Um, this week, very excited, we've got a two-part film actually for Christmas Day today and also New Year's Day for next week. Um, a gentleman over in Canada called Bill Somerville, who some of you may have seen before, has done us a roving report uh, from Canada and uh, very, very excited to share that with you. Not quite Lapland, but we're not worried about that. Uh, it looks pretty cold and frosty and uh, uh, yeah, uh, very, very cool where he is. So I'll let him pick up the story very shortly. I'll be back in um, end of next week just to uh, to finish us all off. But uh, I'll let Bill Somerville pick up the story. And uh, thanks, mate. You've done a fantastic job. Over to you, Bill, in Canada. Hello, this is uh, Bill from uh, sunny Canada. Uh, on behalf of Harry the Stag, uh, just to let you know that I'm out here on another journey. We have found, or actually with the help of Tony Fox in Ontario, we found there's another stag in Saskatchewan, just north of Saskatoon, and owned by Tanya. And I'm just going up to see this car, uh, and maybe she's got some spares for me. She she might have a hood or one of these wee latches for the uh, the soft top, which I cannot find in Canada. Anyway, so heading there just now. We're in, as I said, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan's the middle of the prairies. The prairies it would probably take you three days driving to cross the prairies. Uh, we're just up from Montana. This is cowboy country, uh, where the antelope roam, um, and it's sometimes like the Serengeti at times. Actually, I should nip outside and just show you some of the flatness of this. So I was going to do this earlier on before I started my journey, but it was night time when I started, and the sun's just coming up now, so it's got a wee bit better. Uh, have a look. If I could turn the camera around, I would, but uh, there's the sun coming up. Truck good past. Uh, it's pretty flat out here. You know, there's some pumping jacks and all the rest of it, but uh, it's, it's pretty boring to drive. But anyway. Well, I'm here, and of course I don't have uh, my two compadres, Dipstick and uh, Wingnut, with me. It's me. So, we'll cut off here, and uh, hopefully there's a coffee shop or something. There's like nothing on this road. Anyway, talk to you soon. Hopefully with Tanya. See ya. Bye. So, as I said earlier on, I was heading up to, uh, to, to Saskatoon. It's about a three-hour drive, and I'm eventually here. Uh, and I've just met up with uh, Tanya and Brian, and we are going to now go into their garage and find out this, what this stag's all about. <laughs> <laughs> so Tanya, you're, you're actually on camera right now. There you go. There's there's Brian going into the house. He doesn't like the camera very much. <laughs> it's, and it's minus thirty with the wind chill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens if you give up. <laughs> and and here is the stag. Now check out that number plate. That's a cracker. Do you know what my number plate is? No. F E B R U. Iron Brew. It's a Scottish national drink. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Scotland. Why can I get that? <laughs> so I'm just I'm just going to look around. Tanya, tell us more about what you've done to the car so far. Well, how did you? Why did you buy it? Where did you buy it? How did you get it? What? What? Were you insane at the time? Yes, I was <laughs> definitely. I was. I'd done everything the wrong way. I had seen it on Kijiji, and it was the car was located in Kelowna, and the owner had to leave the country in a few days. So we literally jumped in the truck, drove through the night, changing drivers and sleeping in the truck and met the guy the next day. He started it up, heard that beautiful burble, and we said, sold. <laughs> I arranged a trailer, the U-Haul trailer, to get it back to Saskatoon. And uh, we loaded it up, and we were just leaving Kelowna. And I said to Brian, 
you know, we didn't even take it for a test drive. <laughs> so, you know, if there's any problems with the car, they're totally my fault. Anyway, we drove it around a few times once we got back to uh, Saskatoon and it developed a coolant leak out of the radiator and that led me down the whole path of uh, doing more restoration to it, sorting out the cooling system, um, a temporary switch to a Weber car but it didn't suit the engine so went back to Stromberg's. Um, it had a, a new gearbox, a four-speed conversion, uh, one of the Peyton Lewis conversions which the local transmission place did. Um, I'm currently doing the upholstery so because the car was originally Sienna with a tan interior but because the um, previous uh, previous owner to the previous owner had resprayed the car this signal red color and it didn't really match the tan and they weren't a combination that was issued by Triumph anyway so I come I decided to go to um, oh what's that color called <laughs> signal uh, righty, so we're, we're back online. We're now in the garage and we're taking a further look at this car. That's stunning, stunning. I like these wheels. Yeah, um, I was, they used to be wire wheels. Yeah. But they tried to kill us one day on a long road trip. Uh huh. Uh, the, the front right wheel disconnected. Those splines were so worn that the wheel literally came off. But luckily it came off as we were pulling up to a fuel pump and we managed to get the car over to one side. That's and, scary. And that was in swift current. Oh really? <laughs> so uh, we, luckily my husband has a friend in swift current that we were meeting for coffee mm -hmm. and we ended up changing the wheel and it just so happened I had a spare adapter, spline adapter in the car all the trip ah. so we managed to get the spare wheel on it and get home but after that um the what i decided the wire wheels were completely dangerous yeah and so converted to these uh modern alloys um and a friend in uh in tenerife who did the same conversion helped me with that now you've went back to the Strombers because you're was it a Weber you said you had put they on had it. Had a Weber car, one of the very early ones, and but they, it did not suit the engine. And this car, I know some people have great success with it, uh -huh. but um, it was a bit of a disaster for my car. And I used it for fourteen thousand miles, but the oil leaks just got worse and worse. And it's a rebuilt engine, but maybe it's got it's a heavy breather and uh, needs to go off. Oh, so this engine has been rebuilt? The engine's been rebuilt. It was rebuilt oh. uh, by the previous owner. Now, see, so you've got the double security here. Oh, yeah, yeah. For it, that. Except it worked for a while and it doesn't work now. All right. <laughs> so, job yet to be done. <laughs> and uh, I notice these are still open. Yeah. I know a lot of, a lot of sorry, yeah. I'll rephrase oh, that. Yeah. These, uh, these uh, gaps here in front and back, yeah. a lot of people seal them That's up. That's right, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not doing any body. It came as a solid car, so yeah. the bodywork, I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, there's a... Breather, cleaner. I, yeah, this was the part, this fuel regulator actually is a really good mod to add to, because it enables the carburetors to work um, despite the fuel pump putting out extra pressure yeah. this keeps the pressure correct and right, ever right. since i've installed that mm -hmm. i've not had any hot start problems with this right. car um the header tank was another sort of earlier version of stag weather so and it worked fine i had to do some upgrades to the radiator in order to take it oh the big modification i did to this car was uh the water pump was shedding uh, metal flakes into the oil. Yep. So I, instead of replacing the water pump and the jack shaft gears were also bad in that place, mm -hmm. that's way beyond my capabilities. I actually went with the belt driven water pump uh, that uh, is being developed by Steve Hill in the UK. So it has a water pump that's now where the alternator was. All right. 
and that's one of the best modifications you can do. To oh, there's your, there's your, your alternators way in there. Yep, so alternators mm. now. Up here, the, Interesting. Uh, yeah, and the water pump is now down where the alternator usually located. Because this car doesn't have air conditioning, so I had a spare groove on the pulley for, to operate one of those water pumps. So best deal, best model out. Got it, got yeah. it, got um, it. The radiator is a Mark II. This is a, is although the car is Mark One. the guy who did some refurbishing, he had a, obviously had a Mark II spares car. Yeah. So the engine is a mix of Mark One and Mark Two. So I kind of sorted. Taking all the that best out. from the best. Yeah. So yeah. I sorted all that out. All right. So Brian, are we going to start it up? Oh, you can try. Yeah. It's, um, uh, Brian's got the map. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Bill, you are an absolute star. Tanya and Brian as well. Um, yeah, there'll be part two next week on New Year's Day. So I'll say no more about it. And uh, we look forward to episode two next week. I hope you had a really great Christmas day, guys. Boxing day tomorrow. Um, lots of turkey and trimmings and hopefully being with the family and the ones that you love during these very torrid times. I know we've had a challenging year. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe on the channel and feel free to join us. Don't forget on Saturday Sockets. It's a weekly um, off-camera shenanigan email we send out, which is uh, a joy to, to do. And I know a lot of you really enjoy it as well. So uh, please feel free to sign up for that and uh, get into the swim things for 2022 okay we'll see you uh, next week at uh, on new year's day so have a great week everybody and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the stag very soon cheers for now <laughs> dashing through the snow oh, i wish it's always too mild here <laughs>